हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सॉलिड एज ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज अ सॉलिड एज थ्री डी मॉडलिंग प्रैक्टिस ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल क्रिएट वन थ्री डी मॉडल ऑफ अ स्पैनर सो लेट स्टार्ट न्यू आइसोमेट्रिक पार्ट दिस इज द सिंक्रोनस एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द सॉलिड एज एंड वी आर लर्निंग इन ऑर्डर मोड सो वी नीड टू एंटर इन टू द ऑर्डर एनवायरमेंट फॉर दैट राइट क्लिक ऑन द सिंक्रोनस and take a last option transition to order now this is the ordered mode of the solid age so these are the dimensions of the spanner so first we will create the sketch of this spanner and by using extrude command we will extrude this by 10 mm so let's start for the sketching so firstly we will create one line of 188 mm length which is horizontal and one line is 24 mm length with an angle of 15 degree from the horizontal and one line e of 27 mm so you will create these three lines first so click on sketch select the sketch plane that is top plane and select here option to the coincident plane select the coincident plane click on the line command and draw a line escape click on connect command select the midpoint of the line and origin now dimension this line this line distance is 188 mm length and one more line is of 24 mm length and another is 27 mm length with the angle of 15 so we will create these two lines as well we will dimension this line this will be 27 mm and this will be 24 mm and angle from the horizontal is 15 degree so this is 15 degree and both lines are parallel to each other so click on the parallel command select the first line and second line now these two lines are parallel with each other now we need to make these three lines into construction mode for that click on construction and select the lines which we want to make into construction so here select option select the chain and select this now these three lines are in construction mode next step is to create this sketch so we will concentrate on left side and after that to the right side so we need to create two lines which is which are parallel to this incline line with the distance of 27 mm that means 13.5 each side so we will make this offset to this incline line click on offset command offset select the line now we need to select here single and select this line and enter the offset distance as 13.5 to each side now we need to create two circles of the radius of 27 27 mm radius and 43 mm radius which is starting from this incline line end point so we will create two circles of 27 mm radius that means 52 mm diameter circle and one more circle which is starting from the same point with the radius of 43 that means diameter is 86 mm and for the first one circle it is 54 so now we need to make this line which is perpendicular to the this incline line these two lines we will make these two lines so this is the first line which is perpendicular to this line and this is the second line which is perpendicular to this line now one more circle with the radius of 34 mm which is starting from this this point so we will create this one circle as well 
so click on circle by center point and start from this horizontal end point with the radius of 34 that means diameter is 68 mm radius is 34 diameter is 68 mm now let's dimension this circle as well this is 68 now we need to trim axis line and circle from this sketch for that click on trim command and select the axis circles which we don't need for our 3d model these are the axis lines now we need to give fillet to these two circles with the radius of 16 mm so click on fillet select these two circles and enter the radius as 16 mm for this side as well this is 16 mm now we will create sketch to the right side so offset distance is 24 mm from this inclined line and two circles are from this point is 24 mm radius and 40 mm radius so we will make this offset and two circles so click on offset command 12 mm 12 mm and click on circle by center point bigger circle is of 40 mm radius that means 80 mm diameter and smaller circle is of 24 mm radius that means 48 mm diameter so click on circle by center point and circle diameter will be 48 now we will dimension this this is 48 and this is 80 so one more circle we need to make here which is starting from start of this inclined line and which has radius of 30 mm so we will create this one circle as well center by circle by center point start with this inclined line start point and diameter is 60 mm let let's dimension this circle now we need to create this straight lines which start from this uh, inclined end point with the 90 degree angle which is perpendicular to this line so this is one line and this is second line now we will trim excess circles and lines trim command select the circles sorry select the circles we which we don't need these are the circles now we will give fillet to this this point and this point with the radius of 16 mm this will be 16 and this is also 16 mm now we will dimension this radius as well all the fillets this is 16 mm and this one is also 16 this is also 16 and this line 6 mm 6 mm this line and this line now we will create middle portion of the this sketch which is having 20 mm width to this portion or in which 10 mm slot and 5 mm distance from each side so we will create this 20 mm offset to this horizontal line and 20 mm radius to this side and this side and vice versa for 45 mm radius so we will create this this one so click on offset command offset select this line and offset distance is 10 mm to the upper side and 10 mm to the lower side 
now trim the exit lines from this cage these are the exit lines so this is the 20 mm radius from these two two ends and this is the 45 so we will use fillet command click on fillet this will be 45 so enter 45 and this is also 45 now this will be 20 and this is 20 so select this line and this curve and enter the radius as 20 mm this one and this one as well now dimension these fillets smart dimension this is 45 and this is 20 mm now we will use equal command here click on equal and this one and this one same and this 20 mm is same so we will give dimensions to these lines as well this is the this is the line and this one is also line now we need to check this cage is not fully constrained so we need to give one more dimension for this and this should be connected with each other this is connected This is not connected so we will connect these two curves by using connect command this one and this one now give dimension up to this point as 95 same case will be here we will delete this dimension and check this is connected or not this is not connected to this point so click on connect command select this point and this point now give the dimension from origin to this curve point so this will be fully constrained now close the sketch and finish cancel so this is the sketch now we will extrude this sketch by 10 mm thickness so click on extrude and select here option select from sketch and select the sketch click ok now this will be extrude so enter the extrude distance as 10 mm and finish cancel so this is the basic extrude of the spanner we need to make this planch thickness is as 6 mm so we need to create cut out from the top side and bottom side and make a slot and give this radius so we will create to the one side and we'll make mirror to the another side so let's make one sketch for the extrude cut so click on extrude cut select the top face and we will create one circle with the reference of this and from this side it was 86 and from this side circle was 80 mm so these two circles we have made here this was 80 mm now we will use here project to sketch command click on project to sketch click ok and select which we want to project on this sketch from the previous previous features now trim the excess lines this one is also and close the sketch now this will be the 2m depth click ok and finish cancel now give the around to this point as 2.5 here enter the radius as 2.5 click ok click ok preview and finish cancel now we have to make slot of 100mm length and 10mm width so we will make this slot by using slot command so click on slot 
select the top face click on the line command this is the line and click on connect click the midpoint origin point give the dimension as 100 close the sketch options slot options click on slot options select the slot width from here with the arc end and click ok give the distance of slot depth of cut as 2 mm and steps as 0 and finish so we have slot from the top this cutout and fillets now we will make mirror of this slot cutout and fillet so select these three features and show the planes click on mirror command select the mirror plane now we have mirror features to the another side as well click on finish and cancel so this is the 3d model of the spanner now we will assign texture or color to this spanner for that click on view and part painter here we can select any style for this banner so for that we will choose here chrome select the body and replace styles select this 3d feature so we have chrome plated spanner here now we will apply material for this banner click on the material right click on the material and select material from this list or click on material table for the more detailed material now we have to assign material for this banner so right click on the material and click on material table for the more detail and select material from this material table like i have selected steel and apply to model click ok 